Good afternoon, Shaw Raiders. I'm Kaya Brown, and welcome to The Hook. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for the moment of silence. Raiders, this is Miss Torres, your library media specialist. I just wanted to quickly show you how to check out all our new ebooks. Here is how you get to our online checkout system. First, you go to the Muskogee County webpage. Then you click in the top right corner on families and students. You will then scroll down until you see Destiny Our Libraries and click on the blue link, Destiny Our Libraries. And of course, you click on Shaw High School and you log in in the top right hand corner where it says log in. You'll use your GTID number and password and then you click on catalog. After catalog, you click on Destiny Discover. Once you are in Destiny Discover, you will see your name at the top of the page because you were logged in already. If you forgot to log in, you will be able to click on the login button over here in the top right hand corner and log in so that you'll see your name at the top of the page. You'll be able to check out books and see what you have checked out already. You can see all the ebooks are listed at the top so you'll want to click on see all so you can see everything I have to offer and also where it says sort by in the top right hand corner I like to click on publish so it'll mix up all the fiction and nonfiction books so I can see everything at once. Okay and then you can scroll down and see everything there is. A lot of the nonfiction books, you can just click quickly on open and read them and because I have multiple, multiple copies of them. Some of the books I do not have multiple copies of, like many of the fiction books. So you'll see in the top right hand, left hand corner, if it says in or out, if it's got an in sign, you can check out and then open it and read it. If it's read and says out, then you won't be able to check it out until it's back in. But you can scroll and scroll and see all the great things I have to offer in ebooks. There's tons and tons and tons, okay? If you don't see anything here that you'd like to check out, there's more and more and more, you can just go back and use the search bar and type in what you'd like to look for and see if I have it. You can log into Destiny on any device that you have and read these books. Also, if you go to my Canvas page, the page that says Shaw Library Media Center, where I am looking like your library superhero, click on that page, and you have some quick links that will take you to Destiny as well. Browse Destiny Discover, Browse Destiny. Only sometimes when you try to log in to these after you click on them, it takes a while. That's why I wanted to show you the back way to get there through the Muskogee County webpage. Okay. Also, if you'd like to get the Destiny app for your phone, the fourth button here is a little one minute video that tells you what you need to download and you can read all the books on your phone. However, if you have some trouble reading them, you know you can just go to Destiny, log into Destiny, and you can read all the books on your phone that way as well. If you have any questions, you can use this big button here, contact Ms. Torres, let me know what you need. Um, if you're not into ebooks, just visit the Media Center to pick out a library book for you at your earliest convenience. Whatever you do, start reading today or stop by and pick up a hardback. Make time, read, read, read. Can't wait to see you. Want to know how to get inducted to NHS? Here's Jaslyn Minifield with the requirements. You might be wondering how all these students get inducted into these good programs such as NHS. Well, I'm going to explain. To get inducted, you must first be eligible. Then fill out an application and they will send you an email if you got in. Um, yeah, I got accepted. There will be an induction ceremony. There, the sponsor will talk to you and congratulate you on your acceptance to this program. Then, there will be that will be over, and you will be in the program. This program also does stuff in the community. They will have a canvas page to keep you informed about the program, 
In this program, you have to work hard and really stay on top of things because you have to maintain an average of a 92. If you do, if you do all these things, you're a well-rounded student and you will be successful in this program. Mental health is a serious topic to discuss. Here's Kenny Calhoun with tips on how to maintain your mental health during these trying times. Ms. Kennedy Calhoun, and this month is Mental Health Month, so it is very important that we are taking care of each other. Today, I will be giving you tips and tricks on how to maintain your mental health during this quarantine. The first way to relieve yourself and make yourself feel better is gaming. Play with friends or alone. It is a great stress reliever and is a great coping mechanism. I recommend this game called Among Us. You can play up to 10 people, and it's super fun. You can play on your phone or your PC. Another way is watching television. Go binge watch that show you've been wanting to watch. It is nice to invest time into another world. The best way, in my opinion, listening to music. Get lost in those synths, snares, and vocals. Have a whole concert if you want to. Listen to that new NCT album you've been putting off listening to. Get your Beyonce on and have a blast. Reading is a nice and calm thing to do when everything feels overwhelming. It is nice to disappear into another world for a while and just relax. Mental health is very serious and it is a great time to be checking on friends and family, especially in the situation like that we're in right now. It is very important that we are taking care of each other and taking care of ourselves. If you're feeling down, please talk to someone. The blood drive is coming up. It's going to be a virtual blood drive this year. There's a link that you will use to sign up for an appointment with the Red Cross. The link is going to be available on the Shaw's Canvas page. Make your appointment by following the link or using the QR code and hurry before all the slots are taken. The blood drive will run until the 4th of November. Your donations are very much needed. If you have any more questions, find Ms. Wakely and she'll give you more information. What's wrong with your room? Why is it so messy? Come on, you need to organize your life. An organized room is the key to an organized life. Utilize all the storage space in your room. This makes your room feel bigger. Organize your closet by article of clothing so it won't take you seven hours to find an outfit. Make room for only the things that you need. Organizing your life is pretty easy as long as you can get your thoughts on track with the train you're trying to ride. A planner is holy grail for students. It can organize your assignments and plans for the month. Is your phone in your hand right now? Tell the truth. Well, use it. There are so many apps that can help you organize your life, like the calendar app and the reminders app. Those are apps we usually just look over, but they're really helpful. We are holding a trunk or treat at Shaw on the 29th of October. You can donate a five pound bag to Miss Miller or Miss Kincaid for service hours. Come by and join us. Welcome. Is it Come on in? Hi, is it okay if I ask you some questions in the kitchen? Sure. What's your full name and the reason for having me here tonight? My name is Becky Kardashian, and I believe there's a harmful creature roaming the house at night. Have you seen, heard, or come in contact with this entity? Yes, doors were shut randomly around the house, and just last night when I was in my bed, it felt like I was being watched, and then it started to get busy. What happened to the light? <laughs> Have a 
wonderful day. Remember, it's great to be a Shaw Raider.